welcome to a new Hold School Tunings tutorial. Today we are going to talk about editing bin definition files with a special focus on constants and flags. Please note that tables will be explained in a separate tutorial. First of all, the bin definition file has to be open. If you would like to know how to do this, please follow our previous tutorial. Now let's talk about constants. A constant, sometimes referred to as a scalar, is a singular value in a binary. A constant might be used, for example, to represent the maximum speed of vehicle or the maximum RPMs engine. The symbol, shown in Tuner Pro, is a P. To edit a constant, you have to select the constant from the constant list or from the parameter category field. The desired parameter and its current value are displayed in the constant editor. You can select the number in the edit field and type in the value you desire. When the item is saved, either by pressing the save button in the editor or by saving the bin out of file, the chosen value will automatically get rounded to the nearest possible value in the bin. Another chance is to hit the keypad plus and minus keys on the main keyboard to increase and decrease the values to the ne nearest possible values. If you have a comparison being selected, the compared bean's value will also be displayed. You may copy it manually or just by pressing copy button. You may also use the slider provided in the editor window to select a value within a possible range of values for the item. Updating the value in the edit box updates the position of the slider in real time. Now let's talk about flags. A flag represents a bit within a series of bits. A byte contains a series of 8 bits. A bit can only be set or clear, 1 or 0. Each bit, therefore, can represent a switch or flag. For instance, a flag could be used to enable or disable a feature where a bit value of 1 represents ON and a bit value of 0 represents OFF. A flag in Tuna Pro has two status, SET or NOT SET. To edit a flag, you have to select the desired flag set from this flag list. You will be presented with the flag info in the flag editor. Check or uncheck the values you wish. For example, our flag is related to lambda removal. If set is flagged, lambda sensor is active. On the contrary, if set is not flagged, lambda sensor is inactive. Then you just have to press save to save your work. This tutorial is finished. See you in the next one and do not forget to visit our website and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to not miss our news. Stay tuned, stay old school tuning! <laughs>